Hello, and welcome to your brand new job at Hank's Hot Dogs. You're watching this tape because you have just applied to work as our robotics technician. This tape will answer the five common questions our employees always ask their first day on the job, such as... Question 1. What exactly does a job as a robotics technician at Hank's Hot Dogs entail? Well, as our technician, you will have one of the most important jobs of all, repairing and maintaining our beloved animatronic band, the Sausage Symphonies, consisting of Pizzo the Pizza, Nancy the Nugget, Johnson Bonson, and of course, our star attraction, Hank Hot Dog. Our animatronics, though always eager to make children smile, aren't exactly what would be considered top of the line models. Therefore, it is up to you to take them backstage at the end of each day and perform a routine checkup, checking inside the suit. Oh, so, so sorry about that. Uh, that's a, that's a common problem that routinely occurs when recording these tapes. Uh, but rest assured, what you just witnessed was nothing more than a video glitch. Okay, okay. Here at Tanks Hot Dogs, we are currently dealing with, uh, disturbances of a, uh, paranormal nature. But please be aware, this in no way will negatively affect you or your safety. Here at Tanks Hot Dogs, we are committed to family fun and safety. Um, so... Question two. In regards to my pension, what plans... Oh, forget it. Authorities have recently identified the top suspect in the recent murder of three children on August 19th. The suspect has been identified as Mason Wharton, father of the three deceased children in question. Wharton, the co-owner of the hot dog restaurant where the murders took place, was last seen fleeing his home earlier today on August 29th and was wearing a red and yellow Hawaiian shirt, beige fedora, and silver aviator sunglasses. Police Chief Andrew McCoy has issued a statement claiming that Wharton was responsible for taking his own children to the restaurant where he promptly dismembered. Yo, Raymond. Hey, Joel. What is it? Listen, dude, I just got a great idea. Uh, you know that old hot dog restaurant over on Fifth Avenue? Uh, yeah. The one that closed down years ago after, like, some kids died there or something? Yeah, that's the one. Well, what about it? Well, do you remember those rumors that began circulating sometime after the place closed its doors? About the restaurant being, like, haunted and stuff? Uh, yeah, I do. Well, I was over at Lonnie's for her family's annual cookout, and I just thought to myself, why don't we go there and check the place out? What, you mean, like, investigate the place? Yeah, you know, for our ghost hunting business. Oh, right. Right, uh, ghost hunting business. Yeah. Who could forget about our ghost hunting business? Word. Anyways, come meet me over there, and we can take a look inside the restaurant. I'll bring, like... Snacks and stuff. Can I bring the weed? Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, sweet dude. This is gonna be so much fun. 
Yo, what was that? What was what? That noise you just made. Oh, sorry, I, I have a bit of a stutter. Alright. Hello. My name is Joel Lorenzo. I'm here with my buddy Raymond Diggle. And tonight, we are going to break into the old Hank's Hot Dogs restaurant to investigate the rumors of supposed hauntings inside the... Dude, why are you wearing a hot dog costume? I thought it would help us gain the trust of Hank the Hot Dog. Hmm. Makes sense. Anyway, so, yeah. According to local rumors, after the restaurant closed down, uh, people reported hearing music and shit coming from the restaurant, even though, like, no one was inside. Wow. That's really scary. Yeah. Anyway, so, like, the rumor goes that the kids got killed in the restaurant back in, like, 75 or 76. Uh, the kids' ghosts are still haunting the place, and they're possessing the animatronic entertainers. Man, this chip's kind of stale. What? I said these chips are kind of stale. Oh. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah. They're haunting the robots, and we're gonna head in there and see whether or not that's true. Uh, dude, did you bring those bolt cutters? Um, no. Oh. Uh, okay, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, we gotta go buy some bolt cutters. Man, this place is dirty. Yeah. Someone should, like, clean this up. Yeah. Hmm. So, so, like, how are we supposed to talk to this guy? Um, if he's possessed by a ghost, then he should be able to communicate with this. I got this, like, ghost detective thing. Oh. So, let's start asking him questions. Okay, uh... Hey, Hank. How are you? Uh, how'd you die? Uh, are you possessed? Hank, are you possessed by a restless spirit at this very moment? I don't know if he's going to say anything. No, wait, wait, hold on. Hey, hey, Hank, why is your forehead so big? <laughs> hey, Hank, why are you so stupid? Hey, 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 nice hair, Diggle Nuts. What'd you get at that? <laughs> the hair store? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did you, did you get at the, at the hot dog store? Cause, <laughs> cause you're hot. You're a hot dog. I'm a hot dog. Hey, hey, Hank, I got a question for you. Hey, wh why get teeth like that? Why get stupid little teeth like that, huh? Huh? <laughs> look at them, dude. They yeah, look, look so fucking yeah. janky. Yeah, look at his eyes. What's she looking at like, uh, like that, you know? Look at that stupid idiot. What's that? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at him! Shit, look at him go! Whoa, homeboy spitting bars! Yo, this, guy, this guy's going crazy. He's going, he's going sick up mode on us right now. Look at that. Look at him spazzing out, dude! Holy shit! Yeah, look at him, look at him, go, go! Pretty hard. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Damn. Yeah, that sucks. Want to smoke a joint? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a bomb right there. Oh shit! He got in. Oh hey man, you want some of this? 